Hi, in this video, we're going to do a problem. The problem says to find the linear approximation of this function at the point two comma one and use it to approximate f of 1.95 comma 1.08. Let's go ahead and go through this carefully. So we'll start by writing down the formula that you need in order to do this problem. Solution. The formula for the linearization or the linear approximation uh, of this function, also called the tangent line approximation, is the following. It's L of x, y is f of a comma b plus, and then it's the partial with respect to x evaluated at a comma b times x minus a plus the partial with respect to y evaluated at a comma b times y minus b. This is also called the linearization or the tangent line approximation. So let's go ahead and start working out what we need. So in our particular problem, uh, our a and our b are going to be um, 2 and 1. So that's really important. Okay, it's not these numbers. Uh, it's a is 2 and b is 1. So a is 2 and b is 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and find f of a, b first. So f of 2 comma 1. So we're just plugging them directly into the function here. So it'll be the square root of, so 20 minus x squared, so two squared is four, minus seven y squared, but uh, one squared is one, so it's just minus seven. This is 20 minus 11, so this is the square root of nine, which is three. Okay, good stuff. Now we have to find the partials, okay? So to find the partials, we're going to want to rewrite this first. So we can think of this uh, as follows. This is 20 minus x squared minus 7y squared to the 1 half. And you want to think of it that way so you can differentiate it, okay? So we're going to bring down the 1 half when we differentiate and use the chain rule. So the partial with respect to x at xy. So you bring down the 1 half. Leave the inside untouched. So 20 minus x squared minus 7y squared. Subtract one from the exponent times the derivative of the inside chain rule, right? We take the derivative of the inside and we leave um, the, the, the y's are constants, right? So when we differentiate this, we're gonna get zero, zero. So we're just gonna get negative two x here. These twos cancel. We're left with a negative x over, you can bring this down, make the exponent positive which becomes a square root. So it's 20 minus x squared minus 7y squared. Let's do the same thing with y. So taking the derivative, bring down the 1 half, 20 minus x squared minus 7y squared to the negative 1 half, and then times the derivative of the inside. This time, because it's a partial with respect to y, all of the other variables, in this case, x's are constants, so 0, 0, so we're just going to get negative 14y. 2 goes into 14 seven times, so we're left with a negative 7y. Bring it downstairs, it becomes a positive 1 half, which turns into a square root. Very nice. All right, let's keep going. We're almost there. So now we're just going to plug in the point 2 comma 1 into these derivatives. So fx at 2, 1. So we have to be careful here. So x is 2, so it'll be negative 2 over square root 20 minus 4 minus 7. Just like before, 2 squared is 4, y squared is 1, so you get 7 times 1, so you get 7. 20 minus 11 is 9, squared of 9 is 3. And then we do fy at 2, 1. Going kind of quick. So this time the y is 1, so it's negative 7 times 1, which is negative 7. Square root. 20 minus 2 squared is 4, minus 1 squared is 1, so we get negative 7 over the square root of 9, so we get negative 7 over 3. All right, let's go ahead and plug everything into the formula. I'm just going to go ahead and write the formula. Um, well, I guess you could still see it, so you, know, you can barely see it, so I'm going to write it right here. So L of xy, there we go. So it's f of ab, which we worked out. We said that was, um, it's up here, it's 3. And then fx, right, fx, that one is negative two-thirds, so negative two-thirds, and x minus a, so x minus two, okay? And then the next one was fy, which is here, and it's y minus one, right? y minus b, 
y minus 1. So there you could see, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, see if you can see a little bit better. There we go. So you can see how everything matches, right? So we've got our 3, our negative 2 thirds, our negative 7 thirds. All right, zoom back in a little bit. Okay, so let's clean this up. So this is L of x, y. 3 minus 2 thirds x. Minus 2 thirds times minus 2 is plus 4 thirds. And then this is minus 7 thirds y. Minus 7 thirds times minus 1 is plus 7 thirds. So let's think about what's happening here. This is L of x, y equals minus 2 thirds x minus 7 thirds y. Think of 3 as a number over 3, so 9 thirds. So we've got 4 thirds plus 11 thirds is, plus 7 thirds is 11 thirds. And then plus a 9 thirds is 20 thirds. So that's the answer. Now we have to approximate uh, f of 1, f of 1.95, 1.08. So if you plug in those numbers into the linear approximation, we get the following. So 1.95 minus 7 thirds and then 1.08 plus 20 thirds. And I've worked this out already in my calculator. Um, you get approximately uh, 2.84 and the 6 repeats. So that would be the approximation. So you basically take um, the numbers they give you, the decimal numbers usually, and you plug them in um, to your linearization or your linear approximation or your tangent line approximation. By the way, if you're curious, the actual function value, I worked it out out of curiosity, uh, is approximately, and hopefully I don't typo one of my decimals here, but it should be, you can check, 2.8342018828. So this is the approximation. And this is what you get when you plug it into the function. So pretty close um, to the actual function value. And this, I'm pretty sure this just keeps going forever. So, but yeah, you, you should check this to make sure I didn't copy it down wrong. But uh, this is correct and this is correct for sure. And this should be right as well. It's the actual value. Kind of cool, kind of interesting problem. So basically whenever you have a problem like this, what you can do um, is you just basically use this formula here, okay? And you, you know, you find your partials, you plug in your numbers, and then this uh, approximates f whenever um, your ordered pair is close to 2 comma 1. And notice that, right? Notice that. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Notice that our ordered pair, so notice that 1.95, 1.08 is close to 2, 1. But that's key, right? That's key because this only works when this ordered pair is close to this one. So this, this is approximately equal. So L of xy is approximately equal to f of xy whenever, whenever uh, xy is close to 2, 1. And that's because we use 2, 1, right? We found the linearization at 2, 1. So if you wanted to find out what was happening at like 8, 10, you'd have to find the new linearization, right? So it's a, it's a local approximation. It only works when your ordered pair is close to two comma one. So yeah, pretty cool approximation stuff. Take care.